welcome to Wild Ginger's Urban Homestead. I am just having out of some things that I need to do to make way for some more spring planting. I actually um, tossed up this bed because I wanted to incorporate some of the dry leaf mulch that was there. Hopefully that will break down a little bit before I actually come and plant. This bed here, um, which is mostly just chicken manure and straw, I tossed and watered and hopefully that will break down um, really well. There have been a lot of mushrooms growing in these, which is awesome. An issue that I'm dealing with at the moment is gnats, like like nasty gnats. Yuck. This has me thinking that maybe part of the issue that I had with my winter sown things um, was because of these gnats and they they seemed to come up right around the time that a lot of my seedlings did and so I think maybe it's no um, no coincidence so I'm doing a little purge of my winter sown things here are all of my old used up containers that I had nothing growing in mostly just algae and I am gonna wash them and try and reuse them really quickly so that I can save some space on my windowsill shelf for some other things a lot of my winter sown stuff actually made it we're gonna see how these do I moved them right here I've got this container over here that has had my tomatoes and um, I'm thinking I'm gonna use some of these containers, whatever I can out of the winter stone stuff and do a couple more of these covers with tomatoes and peppers in them or some other things. We'll see, we'll just go ahead and see what I have. I may try like pumpkins or melons or something. Let me know what you guys think I should put in some more of these. Okay. Um, so the plan for the rest of the day is to clear out these gardens. Um, I need to prep this keyhole garden, but first the netting has to come off. And then this bed down here, um, it's actually, it's actually really compacted. And so, um, my, my bright idea this morning was to, um, obviously remove the chicken netting, but I think I'm going to plant potatoes. And so... I have a few sprouting in my garage right now. It's warm enough for them to be growing. Um, and so I'm actually gonna plant some peas right here where this red where this red tower is. I'm gonna plant some peas on that because some of my winter stone peas actually came up really, really well. Um, and then along this um, edge here where the soil is so um, compacted, it's really just dust there's not much life in it I'm gonna plant potatoes hoping that their roots will break up the the ground and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen up the dirt throw the potatoes down and then mulch over them and I'll probably cover that with some bird netting so that the birds don't get into it too heavily um, and then over here I'm just gonna uncover so that the chickens can go at the seedlings and I'm gonna take all of the netting that I bring up and we are going to drop it over the radishes and carrots here as well as the winter stone stuff to protect that from both chickens and dogs for the time being. They are called seed potatoes, yes. Um, okay, so this is just a bag of just organic potatoes. They don't have to be organic. They've started sprouting here, you can see by the purple on there. And so what we're gonna do is just lay them straight on the ground. And then we're gonna cover them in mulch. Strawberries. They're not strawberries. They're little buds. They're little leaf buds. They're trying to grow. Grow okay. out strawberries? No. What kind of plant is that? Potato. Yes. Yeah, so what do you think it'll make? Um, potato. Okay. Look, honey. Sweet boy. Look. Big, little bit bigger. Okay. And they just need to be pushed. Here. 
Now let's water. Do you want to bring that hose back over here and water this? That's a nice easy job. That one or the circle one? Can I do a circle one? Yeah, that'll be the best one, I think. Watch. See that? So much better. Oh, Say thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for hanging Up out here. with us. Right here. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for hanging with us. See you later. Live simply. Live simply. Live simply.